I'm Stephen D'Angelo, the author of the book, A Single Day of Peace, and I wanted to use this video to share a little bit about the book. A Single Day of Peace is an inspirational self-help book that's designed to help the reader achieve a more happy, fulfilled, and successful life, while also connecting better to their spirituality. At the heart of the book is really the universal search that we all undertake to find our true spirit, our true meaning, the level of success that we want to achieve. And very often uh, when we go down this path to find further enlightenment, further success, it requires us to uh, change and adjust who we are as individuals and maybe some of the things within how we think and what we do. So a single day of peace was written in order to be able to help people accomplish that. Um, I used a fictional story uh, to tell the kind of message, to deliver the message of a single day of peace. And because I didn't want to just create another self-help book. Um, I wanted to create a book that had a fictitious story that would be intriguing, would be entertaining, would be inspirational, and probably somewhat controversial. Um, so the book really has a couple of components. It's the self-help component, like I said, to help people live a happy, more successful life. It has a spiritual component. And the reason why I have the spiritual component is I have seen through the years, the most successful and the most happy and content people that I have worked with and, and associated with had a spiritual slant to them. And when I say spiritual, I don't necessarily mean religious. As a matter of fact, some of those that I thought were the most spiritual don't consider themselves religious at all uh, and don't in some ways consider themselves spiritual, but how they behave, how they think, how they demonstrate uh, principles, how they have ethics as part of what they do. There is a real true positive energy and what I call spirit to what they do. And then the third component of the book, as I mentioned, it's a fictitious story, uh, which I'll share with you in a minute about, about the story. Um, I think the book really is all about ab abundance. I think in life, um, we all have our challenges, we all have our opportunities, we all have our struggles, we all have things that are going well, and we have things that we want to change in our lives. And very often, we believe that um, we're limited, that you know we're somewhat of a victim of circumstance. And what I try to display in the book is really it's about abundance, that all things are possible if we follow the right principles, if we do the right things. Um, people can achieve great things in their lives. They can adjust, they can change all aspects of their lives, again, to be more happy and be more successful. The part about being successful, it's really important to say, it's not just financial or material success. Success is whatever it is that you're striving to do, whether you're a, a teacher, a parent, a business person, an athlete, you're trying to be the best that you can be and achieving that best is success. And that's what a single day of peace really wants to address, not just the typical financial or a material gain. So I'd like to tell you a little bit about the story um, that I use, this fictitious story. The story is about a man um, who is a very successful business executive. He runs a very large business of a very large company. He uses what he calls spiritual leadership in leading his people and leading his organization. And his idea of spiritual leadership is creating a very positive energy that's trustworthy, that's caring, that's demanding, uh, that's challenging, but an, an environment where he brings people that they want to work well together and wanna work well for him. And he creates this very positive energy, again, very successful. He follows very, uh, strong principles in his leadership approach. And he has a very dramatic negative thing happen in his life. And he comes to a crossroads in his life, much like we all face a crossroads. And he has some decisions to make. He decides to pursue something he thought about before he entered the business world, before he started his business career. And that was to become possibly a Catholic priest. So he decides to become a Catholic priest. And after this, this situation that occurs in his life, and um, he wants to bring his leadership skills to the Catholic Church to help inspire people more, to help the Catholic Church grow. As he does that, he uh, learns that the Catholic Church is somewhat like an old stodgy company based on old rules. Yes, it does lots of great things for society, but it needs to innovate. It needs to change. So he uses his approach to help that innovation. And he gets many, many followers through his sermons, through his um, media attention he gets, 
uh, some television attention because he's very unique in how he talks about spirituality. He gets millions of followers, but the Catholic Church uh, is not happy with how he's doing things. He then uh, appears on a late night talk show and he predicts what could happen to Jesus Christ if Jesus were to come back. Um, it was somewhat controversial to the Catholic Church. They ultimately reject him. He then faces another crossroads. He decides to take a retreat and, and travel the Camino de Santiago, which is the walk of St. James, a very spiritual walk in Spain that many, many people have taken over the years. And through that process, he documents and authors 50 success principles that if people follow one day at a time or a single day of peace at a time, they'll have a transformed life after 50 days and they'll continue to have a more successful and happy life. So that's basically the story. There's lots of details, lots of inspiration throughout the whole story. And again, as you see, I used a Catholic church as a central point. This is by no means meant just for Catholics. I believe people of all religions would be very interested. I believe people that are believe that there is a God or that there are many gods or God is a universal power, whatever the belief is, a universal energy. I think you'll gravitate to the story. You'll gravitate to the principles and you'll gravitate to um, the, the meaning behind the book. So um, I hope that you read it. I hope it inspires you. I hope it entertains you. And um, hopefully it guides you to live that more happy, healthy, successful life while helping you connect a little bit more to your spirituality. Thank you.